This is rebuilding a model steam plant part 40, fitting the exhaust pipe from the condenser to the boiler underneath the chimney. For this job I am using some PM Research components, but they did need some modification. This is not a difficult job, the hard part was getting everything to line up and look right. I am a big fan of PM Research cast elbows, and I've mentioned the reason for this in previous videos. They look very sort of steam age because they're rough castings. I turned up a couple of thread adapters to fit on this special 90 degree elbow, which doesn't have a flange at each end. I don't want the piping on this engine to look exactly the same. In a previous incarnation, the piping on this steam plant really was outrageous and I didn't like it at all. And thankfully, before I got the plant, someone had removed most of it. I've shortened one of the PM Research brass tubes and here I'm threading it quarter by 40 threads per inch. Threading copper and brass tubing can be problematic. You can't hold it as tight in the chuck as you could if it was a solid piece of bar, so it is prone to spinning around in the chuck which marks it, and that's what's happened here. I should have used the Myford chuck because it doesn't have the gaps in the jaws, so if the part does spin, it doesn't create rings. These rings are very easy to get rid of just by using a piece of wet or dry sandpaper. I turned the piece of tube around in the chuck just to make sure that I got it fully clean at both ends. Here's a close-up of this special PM Research elbow. It was the only one I could find in the box. Apart from having two male threads, it doesn't have the flange at both ends. What I'm doing here using a tailstock die holder is just cleaning up the threads and also checking that these threads are the correct pitch for the parts that I'm using. In this clip I'm increasing the thread length on the piece of brass tubing that is soft soldered into the condenser and also I now know that all of my threads are quarter by 40 threads per inch British standard not the USA standard, where I do believe the pitch is slightly different. I made a couple of female adapters, one longer than the other, and here you can see them screwed in position. I'm going to come clean on this one and say the reason for having to do this was I cut the pipe the wrong length before I soldered it into the condenser. I'm making up the pipe run to the chimney, and to do this I need to change the thread form of yet another PM Research quarter by 40 threads per inch elbow. Every pipe and elbow will be fitted together using this stuff. It's Loctite 542 thread sealant, ideal for sealing threads on model steam engines. The final pipe that I put in place is the one that goes up the chimney and connects to the elbow, which comes from the condenser. In this clip, I'm screwing the pipe into position without any thread sealant because I do need to remove it as indeed I need to remove the condenser for painting and drilling the holes in the baseboard and one or two other things. This is the condensate drain tap that I fitted in the centre of the top cap. As you can see here, it's perfect for the job and it matches all of the other valves on the plant. Which is more than can be said for the valve on the boiler, this has to go. Originally the thread in the bush on top of the boiler was damaged and I opened it up to quarter by 40 threads per inch. Now I'm removing everything, including the adapter. I have, I think, a much better idea. Using the edge of a steel rule, I'm scraping off the residue from a previous application of Loctite 542. The question is, should I fit a Stuart tap like this? The answer to that is definitely not. Fitting commercial boiler fittings is a bit of a balancing act between scale, personal taste and tradition. For instance, I would always use a Stuart valve on a 504 boiler, but as this is a much smaller boiler, to my eye, it doesn't look good. What I think I'm going to do is use the same type of valve that I fitted to the top of the condenser. That way there will be a match between the steam turret valves, the boiler output valve and the condensate drain valve. The paint on this type of valve marks very easily as indeed does most paint that's on brass on valves. It doesn't really matter in this case because I will be removing the paint from this valve. I marked it by removing the bottom part because I need to modify the thread. 
Currently, it is 5 sixteenths by 32 threads per inch and it needs to be quartered by 40 threads per inch. Over now to the lathe, I've set the micrometer to quarter of an inch and I'm using a parting tool. Why am I using a parting tool? Well, because it's perfectly square and when it cuts right up to the hexagon part, this will be at a perfect 90 degrees and fit in the boiler bush perfectly. I never rely on hand wheels, it's just my thing, I'm not good with numbers, I do things totally by feel, so you will see me frequently applying the micrometer. This I think will be the final cut. When threading using a die, there are two things to consider. The diameter that you are threading needs to be what it's supposed to be, in this case a quarter of an inch. And here I'm very fine with the micrometer that indeed it is a quarter of an inch in diameter. To remove the old thread and reduce the diameter down to quarter of an inch, I screwed the part into a union nut. Because there isn't really enough hexagon to get a grip on, and if I grip it by the threads, it's all going to go spectacularly wrong. I always set my dies to optimum cut. 99% of the dies that I own are split dies, so you can slightly adjust them. You can open them up, or you can close the die slightly, which will cut an undersized thread. Sometimes the standard setting of dies cuts an undersized thread. You need to check this before you use them. I rewound the die under power because anything that saves time is a good thing. I refitted the thread adapter into the valve using Loctite 542. And then, with the help of a shim washer and some more Loctite 542, I refitted the valve into the boiler bush and it fits perfectly. I now think this looks quite good as all the valves on the plant match each other. With the piping in position to the condenser, I'm using a spring punch to mark the positions of the holes that I'm going to drill on the baseboard. The next job will be to drill the holes for the condenser in the baseboard and bolt the condenser in place. I intend to paint this condenser black to match the boiler, but the top cap will still be in polished brass. Painting the condenser is going to be the last job. First, I need to pipe the plant, and that starts in the next episode. That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.